Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reads. Uh, today is the uh, fifth, so this will go from this Sunday through to the 11th. And this is for the sign of Aries. I'm glad you're not last this week, Aries. It seemed to be standard for you guys. Okay, I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot. Please remember these readings are only general. They will not resonate with you all of the time. Um, if they don't resonate, you want to find another reader. Okay. Aries. Oh, if you're wondering why it's so echoey in here, I've got hardly any furniture. I'm just about to move house. So I've got about a week left and I'm working in between. So I want to make sure I'm sort of on top of everything at this time. Okay, I have the Princess of Wands coming out. Now, she does represent the fire signs, Leo, Sag or Aries, but this is about a message coming through, something that has a lot of passion behind it. You could be waiting to hear from someone or someone is about to contact you with a message of passion. Um, could be an air sign too, but more likely this person has some sort of an apology or something to express that perhaps that you've been either expecting them to come through with um, could be Libra Gemini or Aquarius but I strongly feel that this person has something to say here could be an apology wow this is really interesting so now we have the Queen of Cups coming in so I feel like this is the energy of perhaps a mother or a relative perhaps you've got some sort of relative or it may be a friend but somebody coming through here that has to make some sort of an apology for something that's happened here could be that you're dealing with someone wow okay so we do have the card of the lovers and the chariot you could be dealing with a cancer here that's coming forward to make some sort of apology or put something right there's some sort of message coming in here could be in regards to love but it also can be about a choice um, it's possible that someone's made some sort of choice in love here between two people um, but it's certainly someone who's ready to apologize for something that they have done okay so I've got the three of pentacles so this person wants to rebuild with you um, so something could have happened that's been broken down between you and they're trying to put something right here um, this is a, a you know a working on things so it could also be that you have had um, a work disagreement with somebody this could be to do with work or business here as well oh I just noticed I got a crack in my finger now that's not good um, let's keep going oh definitely okay we could have a work situation here you could have had someone who's done the wrong thing for you at work or in a work situation someone wants to rebuild with you um if there's something to do with money here something to do with resources um so it could be somebody at work or it could be somebody that owes you money somebody's making an apology here about that the king of swords is coming in next now there could be or could have been some sort of legal threat or let me just turn up another card oh we have the king of cups I've got people everywhere in your reading Aries there could have been some disagreement here that may have resulted in someone threatening legal action now it could be this is through work as well so it could be that you've brought in say the union or a counsellor or somebody like that to help out here there's a very strong feeling that there is either going to be mediation for this or you've already gone to mediation there could have been something legal you could have complained about somebody at work doing the wrong thing here um, I do think the person's apologized to you but it still looks like something's still in process here um, you may be it may be you that's that's the problem it could be another person um, and I don't mean you the problem as in you this may be directly related to you or it may be related to someone that you are working with um, and you may be called to action here 
six of wands coming in so no matter what there is a good outcome with this if you're waiting for an outcome it may have created some sort of fear or worry or distress for you here um and I do have the Ace of Cups coming in. Greatly, everything fell over at the same time the Ace of Cups come in. The story of my life. Um, okay. It could be to do with love. If it is, I think you're dealing with two people here. Um, and that could be about a divorce or a breakup here that you're being called into effect here. Someone could want to work with you and be offering you something long term, but they may not have finalised something else with somebody else here. I'll keep going anyway. Five of Cups, so there's some past sadness still here. Queen of Wands, that's your energy there. And Balance, Temperance. Some sort of divine timing. All right, let's give it a good going over because it's a little... God, I'm knocking everything over. <laughs> Okay, I have somebody coming forward here, again with the King and Queen of Cups. It could be, but this can be between two people who are no longer in a relationship together. I feel like somebody new has come into the picture and I think someone's having to choose between two people. It seems to me that somebody's moving away from some sort of codependency and towards a relationship that's a relationship of choice. Now, somebody looks like somebody wants to work on something here, and it looks like they want to propose something long-term here, something stable. There seems to have been some sort of truth that needed to be explored here with somebody as well. So it's possible here that this person had not been honest with you about the other person or vice versa. I feel that this person does have a great deal of love here, um, but they're waiting for the right time to come forward to you here. Now, if this is you, it's possible this could also be a work situation for you too, um, where somebody at work has raised some sort of issue or problem here that has made you um, has made you either think of moving in a different direction or having some sort of resolution here over some sort of conflict. There's definitely conflict. I have two aces in this reading, which says to me you're moving forward. If it's for somebody who's waiting for some sort of outcome to some legal justice or some work justice here, so some issue at work where you've been had a disagreement and maybe have put in a grievance, I feel like the outcome is really good here and it does restore some faith in your direction. But I do think it's been a bit of a struggle for you to come through this. There's been some a lot of um, downtime in the past trying to cope with something here. I don't want to talk sexual harassment or anything like that, but just to give you an overview, that's the sort of thing it feels like. So it could, you, could have been that you've been bullied at work as well. Um, I do see a good resolution from this and I do see um, things being put right. But there's divine timing here, so it's taking a little bit of time. I feel like there's more than um, one person involved here. Now, as I said, if it's for a relationship, then someone's definitely coming forward to offer you some sort of relationship here. Um, it could be that you've had a disagreement with someone in the past and they're coming back in, or it could be someone who's made a choice of whether to move forward with you and leave someone else behind. How interesting. We have the card of unfinished sympathy coming. Sympathy, Yvonne? Unfinished symphony coming through here. I'm getting a bit tired, trying to move house, do readings, trying to catch up with everything else, and I'm just like, yeah, I think it's time for a daytime nap. Okay, so this is about unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, and the need to make amends, which of course sits right with this reading. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can hit finally end on a high note. 
Um, because it's got a relationship one too, I want to read this as well. It says, moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. So then it tells you how to get closure for yourself. And I, I think for some of you, this is the situation here of having some sort of closure to this situation. Um, perhaps not so much around a love relationship, but around some sort of relationship from the past here. Anyway, whichever message resonates with you best. Have a great week.